All right, welcome back to New Zero Lands. So in the US, people are using DigiNow superchargers to charge their zeros at Tesla stations, J stations. Some people are linking together four J stations. You know who you are. Uh, but in New Zealand, the infrastructure is so different. So how do you fast charge a zero in New Zealand? So the idea is, once I get all three in here, uh, I'm gonna have these Sumitomos, instead of going to a whole bunch of Andersons out to either a J1772 inlet or a huge, massive Menekes Type 2 inlet with all these Andersons, uh, it's just gonna go from here up through here and then I'll have a little Nutrik connector for each charger. And the reason for using these, instead of having all the chargers linked into just one inlet, is so that I can access the chargers individually for, you know, different charging situations around the country because the infrastructure in New Zealand has, there's just so much variety. So like, if I wanted to charge at home, I would just use one charger. Uh, if I wanted to go at a campsite where there's usually two blue commandos, like per campsite, a little pod post thing, uh, I could plug in two blue commandos you know, individually to two chargers. Or if I'm at a three-phase Menica station, I could plug in all three. Uh, but there's also single-phase Menica stations, which are like seven kilowatts. So if you go on PlugShare and turn on the Type 2 stations, you'll actually see a lot. And this is thanks to a store called The Warehouse, which is kind of like Walmart for New Zealand. They're installing a whole bunch of three-phase Type 2 stations at each one of their stores around the country. But the problem is not all these stations are three-phase. This one, for example, is single-phase. Which means, basically you have your Menica's Type 2 inlet, a uh, whole bunch of holes, this is not accurate at all, uh, but basically you have your, your three phases, these three right here, uh, and a popular way to do it on zero is to get your three uh, DigiNow superchargers and just wire them up to each phase. So you go to the three phase station, that's... They're usually 22 kilowatts and it's at the station. It's insane. So they just pull all three phases, all three chargers. You're good to go. But when you go to a single phase station, those are only seven kilowatts and they only look at one phase. So they only use one charger and that's 3.3 kilowatts. But it seems like kind of a waste because you have a seven kilowatt station and you're only using 3.3 kilowatts. So you could potentially be using two of the DigiNow superchargers like combined into one of the single phase stations. But since you wired them up like this, that single phase station can only use one of the phases. So the best way to do it is to keep them separate and then link them together depending on which station you're at. Uh, basically this makes it so that if I'm out on the road I can always use at least two chargers. Just kind of maximizing the speed um, when I'm out. Yeah, so now I'm gonna take this into a program called Fusion 360 and try and mock up some holes for my little inlet plate thing out of carbon fiber. So yeah, let's do that.
Oh yeah. So professional. <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of a to be continued video because I'm still waiting on the belly pan. Uh, but once I get that, I'll mount up the chargers, I'll install this, wire everything up. So that'll be part two. Uh, and then we'll hit the road and do some road trips. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.